Hey everyone, this is Camille. Welcome back to my channel. It's the weekend, which means we've got a new vlog for you. If you guys are new to my channel, then I hope that you click on that subscribe button and be part of our awesome family. If you're an old subscriber, then you guys know the drill. I hope that you have your notifications on so you never miss out on any of my awesome videos like this. We're currently shooting from my bathroom, a different setting for today because this is a dun, 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 you guess it right, a bathroom tour. A lot of you guys have been requesting for a room tour, and because this is my baby, my work of art, I feel like I want to share so much of my room to you guys. Instead of posting a three-hour-long video where I will babble non-stop, I'd rather just show you guys my room area by area. We're starting with the bathroom because this is actually the first area that I finished conceptualizing. If you guys follow me on my IG, on my Instagram, then you probably already saw like how this entire space developed, and you probably already know also that my family decided on not getting any interior designers. We only had like an architect and a contractor to help us out. And then the interior design is actually mainly done by me. As voted by my family. Thank you family. Thank you family. <laughs> so I'm not an interior designer. I'm a fashion designer and blogger. So I really don't have any interior design background. But I've always been interested in interior design and furniture and decor. And when I was choosing what course I was going to major in, interior design and fine arts was actually one of them. So I actually almost became an interior designer. So it's, this is like my being a frustrated interior designer coming to life. Like it's finally here. So if you plan on designing your space and not getting any interior designers as well, it's really, really possible, especially now. Now, for me personally, when I was looking for designs or themes for my bathroom, I looked through Pinterest and House. You can get a lot of inspiration there, a lot of things that other people have uploaded, and you can see a lot of different looks, a lot of different types of furniture or, or fixtures or finishing and everything else. There's so, so many ideas. The real challenge there is really trying to pinpoint which ones like are really for you and trying to curate which themes would actually suit you. That was one of the biggest problems for me because I liked so many different things. At first, I I was actually experimenting and thinking that maybe I'd want a bathroom that's more like bold colors and there's like really funky eccentric wallpaper accents. I really like so many different things because even in my style you'd see it. I like to wear different type of things. But ultimately I ended up with this one. I call it Minimalist Luxe. I ultimately chose like a black and white palette with just color accents like greens or copper colors. Originally I wanted like a black and white bathroom with gold accents but you also have to look at what's available in the market and here in the Philippines it's really hard to look for at least like bathroom fixtures that are in gold and copper is more readily available so that's why I switched to copper so it's easier for me as well ultimately I chose like a black and white theme also because you know our taste and our style always evolves with us as we age so I wanted something a bit more timeless and more classic and something that I know I would love even in the many many years to come and also I wanted something that is more easy on the eyes because us girls we spend so much time in the the bathroom right so you'd want to be able to relax here and just you know take your time so i was thinking that maybe if you wake up with a hangover or say i'm not saying that i always drink or anything but i'm just saying that there are times you're not exactly feeling well and then you go and enter your bathroom and it's like a bright yellow or bright orange or something so at least with black and white it's very calming it's very neutral so enough babbling i'm gonna show you guys my bathroom now starting with this main area so this is the main area of my bathroom it's the first thing you'll see when you enter it has the sink area the faucet all my shelves where i have all my beauty products my skincare products my hair tools my hair products and everything else so this mirror is actually the main accent piece i think a 36 inch or a 34 inch mirror that i had made because it was so hard to look for a copper framed mirror here in the philippines so it's actually stainless that we just painted copper and i really wanted it to be this big so it makes my bathroom look bigger and it makes it look more luxe these are actually really cheap like i got them downtown in binondo because my mom is a bit on the girl, so she knows everything there. So we went there and we actually outdoor wall ramp that I figured that would actually look super cool here in my room. I think they're actually only like a thousand or even less. 
super cheap. So I wanted everything to be matching. So I've got copper, black, and also my faucet and my sink are also in copper and in black. So this is actually something I really wanted because it's very, very sleek. It's not your usual faucet where it's super bulky. I want it to be very modern looking. And I wanted an exposed sink because, I don't know, it just looks more special. It's not your usual like white sink that's indent into the table. And it looks kind of old. It has a vintage-y feel, which I also really love. So when I was designing my bathroom, I really I really wanted this area to be very spacious because I have so much beauty products and skincare products and stuff that I get from PR that I don't really get to use now. So I really wanted to make sure that I have a lot of the shelves and cabinets and a huge table where I can lay out the products that I'm already using now. So to make sure that my table isn't as boring, I made sure to buy these trays and cute containers so that it can spruce up the space. This is actually a tray that I got while I was in Sweden. It's a design tile that I figured that is actually super duper cute here because it's got a copper accent here and it's white and it looks great with this black table. It's got all my oral hygiene products. I have this French glass for when I brush my teeth that goes with this one. It's of the same design. I got them from the same store. So this contains all my cleansers, like my Shuemura cleansing oil and my proactive cleanser that I talked to you guys about in my previous video and also my toothbrush. So just so it's not like a mess here, it's all neatly placed there. And I also have this, you got this, a morning motivation kind of tray. It's from Typo. This contains my hand soap. This is actually just a plastic container that I got from a Dove pack from Watson's and still goes well with the entire bathroom. It's actually not copper because you know me, I need my gold items there. Then on this tray, I've got a light stick because I actually don't know how to use a lighter. To light my scented candle just so there's ambiance, ambiance say. Also, during times that it's not really smelling as great because of certain people who would borrow my bathroom because me, I never ever secrete anything that doesn't smell good because I am a unicorn. And unicorns never secrete anything that doesn't smell good. I have this beautiful black towel that I also got from a PR kit that has my initials embroidered on it. It's really nice. I need my towel here so that if it gets wet when I wash my face, then I can just wipe it using this and it's not dirty looking. This marble tray is actually something that I got from Cultura. It's not as expensive as your usual marble product. It is a win. So I have these L-O-V-E candles that I don't know if I've ever used because they're just too pretty. So they're just here as decor. And this tray contains all my night products, some of which you've already seen, like my pimple products. So this is my eye cream, Claron. My current moisturizer, because I actually just finished my old moisturizer, is the White Wedding Dream Cream from Vanilla Co. I also have here a new product from Olay that I'm currently trying out. It's the Olay Magni Mask Infusion Rejuvenating Jar Mask, which came with this super fancy massaging thing that you're supposed to use with this moisturizer. It came with a really pretty pouch that keeps it clean. I also have here my Manege Water Sleeping Pack. This is my favorite actually. Whenever I know I'm not gonna have a long sleep and I want my skin to look radiant still the next day, this is the perfect product. I've been recommending this to all my friends because I swear by it. My serums, you've seen them. And then there, I also have this serum from Tehran. Shaping Facial Lift Lipo Drain Serum. Whenever you feel bloated and you want that V-line on your face. This is the Miracle product from Clarence. I don't really use it as much. I always forget to use it. This is also a toner from Clarence. I just finished the Body Shop toner, so now I'm trying this one. I've got my pimple patches over here, and, and then we have this container over here that is also matching with my glass and my bathtub container. This contains my cotton pads for the face, my cotton buds. Again, I purchased it because it matches with the rest. It's copper. This marble container is actually a wine bottle holder that was given to me by my boyfriend Yanni, but I decided to use it for my brushes instead because it looks awesome and it looks like it fits for that use. And then I've got my fake plant over here that I got from Target. This looks the most realistic out of all the plants that I put here in this area. And I love this the most because it's got a container that's also in copper. So you'll actually see a lot of greens here in my bathroom because I like to decorate with greens now. It's an effect of having a 
majority boyfriend who's super into plants so now I'm also super into plants so although I would love to put real plants in this area I can't because there's no direct sunlight and I know that here in the bathroom it gets a bit humid or moist so maybe not that good for plants I could put succulents but I don't know why I can manage to keep real plants alive but if it's succulents I kill them so in honor of the succulents of the world I am doing them a favor by not wasting them here in this area and I invested in fake plants instead these are actually from Landmark I think or SM one or the other one here one here and another here so now let's go over to my shelf area this is where I put my towels my medium-sized towels and my hand towels or face towels my large towels my favorite is definitely my Marimekko towels that were given to me by Yanni's mother and sister so if you guys are not familiar Marimekko is actually one of Finland's best exports it's one of their best brands and this is a classic Marimekko floral print and then over here we've got my beautiful rug that I got also from abroad I wanted it to be in theme so it's also black and white I've got an extra one here it's like it's alternate ta-da isn't it the cutest I got this from Frank Frank and it says happy. So me personally, the bathroom is the first place that I go to when I wake up in the morning. And I like to see these very like positive messages all around my bathroom like you got this or happy so that it can get you in a positive mood because you know if you have a really good and positive start to your day then there's high chances that your day will also continue being happy. On this shelf over here, this is for free but this is actually from Muji. So if you guys want any woven baskets then Muji has them. I know Yapo also has them, really really cheap. But I decided to go for the Muji one because the measurements are exactly what I need for this shelf. So here we've got all my stock toiletries like my special lady needs and all the other extras like my sponges, my oral hygiene products. And then over here we've got extra facial products, my cotton pads, extra pimple patches, extra oil films that I got from Japan. And then I also have here my extra cleansers so a lot of you ask me what contact lenses I use it's fresh look in gray the contact I'm wearing right now is from Olens Carry Bay 3 con pink this is just to keep everything neatly organized in my shelf because ever since moving into this new home I've become a complete neat freak who would have thought? My sister is so proud of me now. And then if you're wondering what this is, this is just all my stocks. Like all the products that I haven't used yet. And my travel kits over there. So everything. Like I have kind of Pantene products because I love them. I've got other treatments for the hair as well. That I buy whenever I'm abroad. And then I've got my shower gel, my bath foams, my sunblock. Basically everything that I use in the shower and right after shower. Let's take a moment to appreciate first the color combination that I chose here. I really wanted it to have like a white shelving and then with black outlines for each so that it looks cute. It's not your normal, just plain black or plain white. And then also these handles that I got really, really cheaply. These are also copper finish and sleek modern finish because I wanted to kind of match my faucet over there. So these are the little details I'm really proud of and I want to show you guys. I told you guys that again, I wanted a lot of shelves so that I have all the space that I need for the beauty products that I'm using. So here on this side, I put these hooks that I got from Hey or Design Story so that I can hook up my favorite Dyson blow dryer. Dyson actually comes with this pad so it doesn't slip while I'm using it. So this is perfect because you can purify the area and also give out a really nice scent. So that's a recommended item from It's Camille Ka. Hello everyone! <laughs> So this is the first shelf. This has all my body lotions and also my glasses. So this one is actually a nifty mirror that I got from Lanelle Boutique. So it's not working right now because I haven't charged it. But this one actually lights up when you press this. And this has like LED lights all over here that you can dim or make brighter. So this is one of the mirrors that I actually bring with me when I go travel. And then we've got here some essential oils and massage oils that I got from Neil's Yard, which is available in Rustan. So these are what I use. If, for example, I want to put it in my scent machine so that there's scent in my room. Or I can put this scent into the massage oil 
and use that whenever I have massages here in my room. I also have this body oil from Chanel called Chance. An anti-mosquito lotion because I am allergic to mosquitoes and this is actually one of the best brands that doctors recommend because it's baby safe. Airbrush legs from Sally Hansen if in case I want to look like I have tan legs. It works really well. Oh, I've also got another body oil here from Michael Kors. It's got a bit of shimmer so it's perfect for the summer. Oh, this one is actually a good product from Clarence. It's the Stretch Mark Control Lotions because you know, no one is perfect unless you're JLo or Beyonce. On this level is my hair products. Everything that I use to keep my hair healthy because as you all know, my hair is colored and as much as I want to say that they're in tip-top shape, you still have to have all these treatments and serums and proper hair care to make sure that your hair is still alive after all those treatments and bleaching and coloring. These are my favorite. These are from Living Proof. This one I put during the nighttime. And this one during the daytime. I also have this Restore Instant Repair. So I use this whenever I don't have this with me. I love oils for the hair. So this one is by Percy and Reed London. It's their No Oil Oil that volumizes as well. But this is actually my favorite out of all the oils that I've been using. This one is by Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. It's actually a cult favorite of all beauty mavens. So this is a wax that I got from Japan that I use for whenever I have like a sleek hairstyle or a ponytail or a bun and I don't want any of my baby hairs coming out so I just and then voila. So it's called the Mato Maj Hair Styling Stick. I've always wanted my hair to be more volumized especially because my hair is super thin. This is what I use the Caviar Clinical Daily Root and Scalp Stimulator. So I spray it on my hair twice, like once during the morning and once during the night. Oh, a lot of you have also been asking me about the dry shampoos that I've been using. So these are the products that I use. Living Proof, Bumble and Bumble, and Batiste. But my favorite is Living Proof. I also have products that can help me achieve that like beach waves or whenever I don't want to blow dry my hair like this and I just want to air dry it but I want it to have those wavy sort of like volumized look then I use these surf spray from Bumble and Bumble and this sea salt spray from Beachborn. And then we also have these hair sprays. I've got one from Tony and Guy and one from Umberto Giannini. I got this while I was in London. This one is okay. It's just hard to spray. But this is actually my favorite. Living Proof Full Thickening Mousse. So it's what I use if, for example, I want this to stay longer. Then I put it on my hair while it's still wet and then dry it and then do the hairstyle. And then I've got these copper baskets that I got from CB2, a store in New York. I've got one over here as well. So this is where I put all my hair tools aside from my blow dryer. So this has all my curling irons. So I'm not gonna open them up anymore. I also have my mermaid hair iron. So everything's here so everything is organized. And then on the other side is my flat irons. My current favorite out of all my flat irons is actually this one by W Elite. This is what I use to do this hair. And then time for my perfumes over here. I know a lot of you have been requesting for a perfume collection as well, so this is it. I have a confession to make. Maybe just two or three bottles are actually perfumes that I bought for myself. The rest are gifts from friends or from companies or brands that I've worked with. So thank you friends and brands. Here's a closer look at my perfume. This is my favorite, Very Irresistible by Givenchy. I got this while I was in Paris. They were having a special event at Sephora in Paris where you can get your name engraved in the bottle and I thought this would be a good souvenir for me. Another favorite is this Jean by Lanvin perfume. I love this, it's very feminine scent. Another favorite, it's Modern Muse by Estée Lauder. I first got this as a sample and I loved it so I decided to go buy it. This is also very, very mild scent. It's from Givenchy. It's called Live Irresistible. I have another perfume bottle here actually that has an engraving. This is by Burberry and it has my initials on there. I'm keeping this even if I already finished that bottle. And then, as I've said, I wanted a lot of shelf space. So at least we still have a free shelf over here that only has this eye patch that I bought from Sasa in Hong Kong. It's actually what I use whenever I feel like I won't have enough sleep and I don't want to have big eye bags and dark under eyes. What I do is I put them under my eyes and wear them as I sleep. 
and the next day, no island. And then we've got a copper clock over here to decorate this place so that I know if I'm on time or not since I spend so much time here in the bathroom and so that Yanni won't get mad at me so that I can come out on time out of the shower. This one is I got from, I think, Target. It's also really, really cheap. And now up to the shower area. This is my favorite part here in my bathroom. It's a French door inspired shower door because I really didn't want any like those normal looking doors that you usually see in the showers. I wanted it to still be an accent and a design piece. That's why I really fought for this design. As you can see, you'd also notice my tiles here. It's all marble print tiles because I am addicted to marble as I am addicted to gold color. So marble tiles in kind of like a semi-gloss finish and it's all the same all throughout except they're just different cuts so that's a nice tip for all of you who also want to design your own bathroom if you're confused with like mixing different tiles then you just use one design and then just make sure that it comes in different cuts so I've got these big cuts over here and then on this area I made them cut it into like brick type tiles so that's a very subtle difference but it goes a really really long way if you look at my floor tiles as well, they're also actually the same floor tiles from here onto the shower except they're also just in a different cut. So we have mosaic type cut there and we've got big tiles over in this area. So a great design tip that a lot of interior designers have been telling me way way back is that you have to have matte floor tiles because again this is a bathroom so there is a tendency that the floor would get wet so at least if you have matte tiles then it's not as slippery. So now we're in my shower area and I really love the tile play over here. So we've got the big tiles that I was saying here and I said that we've got the mosaic tiles on the floor which matches actually the niche area here and I wanted it really to have like a black color here so it's sort of like a subtle accent. So this is where I put all my shower products. As you can see, my Pantene 3-Minute Miracle is here although already very much murdered and all these other shampoo products because I like to mix them up. But this is actually a really nice product that I got from the States. The team from Overtone sent me these products. These are color depositing conditioners and treatments that I use so that my hair color would stay longer. So this is a conditioner in purple and this is a treatment in purple and this works like magic. It's as if you went to the salon and had your hair color retouched and I also have it in pink. But that's also, these products are the reason why I have these disposable gloves over here because they really are super strong products. They're not permanent hair dyes or semi-permanent hair hair bleh, hair dyes. And then this is also a part that I really really love. It's my bathroom fixtures. And because I like everything matchy matchy, we've got my rain shower, my shower head, my knobs, and even my faucet all in black with copper so that it matches everything else in this bathroom. And if you're wondering what this pink fluffy thing is, it's actually my loofah. It's a pig loofah. <laughs> because as you all know, I love pink pigs, so that is why my loofah is a pig. And now that we're done with the shower area, we go to this area. As you can see, I've got an accent wall over here. So that's also one of the things that I was super adamant about when it came to designing my bathroom. I really wanted an accent wall with different tiles and everything. So I chose these geometric style tiles that I actually did the pattern of myself. Just so there's something that's more dynamic here. It's not super matchy matchy everything. At least there's something like, whoa, accent. This is a nice fluffy, towel-y bathrobe so that my body, when it's too wet, then I have these. And these hooks are again from Hey and Design Story. I've got my Marimekko hand towel over here that are as soft as clouds. This one is actually something that I carried in my luggage all the way from Finland in Porvo. And I got it from this quaint little store. I love it because it's got all these little hooks for all my clothes. And I have my reading material over here for when I have time to read. Wink, wink. You know what I mean. So you know when you're at the throne and everything else, you 
got your reading material. This is a gift from Yanni. It's the Kinfolk Volume 13. I love it because it's got really nice stories inside. So this is also where I put my extra tissues. Then I've got these copper hangers where I could put some more of my little pieces of clothing that I want to hang. And then my favorite part here, aside from my geometric wall, is this! Paradise! Get it? On top of the throne? No? Paradise? Don't deny it. You know it's like paradise, you know. Admit it, it's witty. It's witty. And the last item here is this one, my snake plant, which is the only real life plant here in my bathroom. It's fairly easy to take care of, so if you're not really into succulents, then the snake plant is good for you because it doesn't need direct sunlight and you don't have to water it all the time. I've had it for so, so long and it's still alive, so... It's very low maintenance. So that's it for my bathroom tour. I know it's very detailed, but I just can't help but show you everything here in the bathroom because it's really my baby and I got no professional help and it's all just everything that I've imagined that came to life. So I'm so head over heels in love with it. It's my dream bathroom and really wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope that you guys really did like it and you appreciate all the small details as much as I do or maybe it's just me because I'm really giddy about all these little matchy matchy details and all the little stuff that I've been collecting in all my travels. If you guys have any specific questions about certain products that you see in this video, then just leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. If not, then still leave a comment below something positive and something happy to make my day. I will truly, 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 truly appreciate that and I thank you for it. If not, then just give me a thumbs up so that I know that you guys like this video. Till next time everyone! Bye!